I found myself a displaced person shortly after birth and have been looking half my life for a place to take my stand. There was just something about Ed Abbey that really spoke to us. I regard the wilderness as my home, and when it's being invaded by clear cutters and strip miners, I feel not only the right, but the duty to defend it by any means I can. Ed and I had found this D3 cat in the construction of that stinking highway down to the Colorado, so we turned the damn thing on and sent it off the cliff. A demonstration of civil disobedience played out in Salt Lake this evening. I started reading Edward Abbey when I was 18. I was old enough to understand it, but not quite old enough to realize that it wasn't a manual. Would you do it again? Yeah. Everything in the biotic community was gone. I saw that I wasn't the one who was nuts. It was the very beginning of an environmental movement, but it belonged to a certain caste of people that the other people saw as threatening. Earth first! People were attracted to Earth first because it really said, let's save the United States. They're not environmentalists, they're terrorists. Defending the natural world, of course, you're going to bring a lot of anger and hostility towards you because there's so much money being made from destroying this planet. These are people out there that had gone through everything that they had been taught to change things in our world if you see an injustice, and it didn't work. What are we willing to do for a livable future? This is a global issue, and it's about greed and materialism, and we are all involved in guilty. Human society is like a stew. If you don't keep it stirred up, you get a lot of scum on top. Agitate.